What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time I'm taking a look at our boy DSP's Daily Wrap. Of course this is after his disastrous multiverse stream where our boy guilt tripped his den head into getting him past the tier 1 tip goal. The boy struggled, he was making, ten, he had I think $10 tips for most of the night until of course he sent out the famous beg tweet and then actually told his den heads Hey, get me to the $50 tip code because my eyes hurt. I need to go to classes. So let's see what our boy Phil has to say in this video. Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday, the 12th of September, 2022. Good streaming day today. First of all, uh, on the Level 1 podcast, there was a lot of gaming news to talk about. Kind of out of nowhere, it was unexpected, but overnight, there was a lot of announcements. We had founders of game studios leaving out of nowhere we had games getting adults only ratings that were confusing everyone we had it wasn't confusing anyone it was an error all kinds of sales numbers records being broken it was a pretty crazy game news day the only record that was broken was splatoon in japan stop exaggerating everything in addition i had a polarizing debate about restaurants in the united states yeah no it wasn't polarizing you came off it as, as an as an elitist douchebag. It actually took up a significant portion of the pre-stream today. So, if you're looking for variety, you're gonna get it on today's episode of the Level 1 Podcast. Give it a look if you missed it, okay? Today's main gameplay stream was the premiere of my playthrough of Earthbound. Already I can tell you in the first three hours, dramatically different from the playthrough of Earthbound that I did nine years ago. The only difference was that you made $160 in tips, that's the only difference, and I'm pretty sure that once that wanes after your second and third playthrough of it, you'll start finding faults and complaints in the game. Same game, but completely different attitude, interactive discussions going on, <clears throat> all kinds of things, and man, the game is much tougher than I remember actually being, that first boss being a pretty big difficulty uh, spike and challenge, although I do remember that the more you play the game and you earn party members, the game becomes way easier. Being solo at the beginning of the game is actually one of the hardest parts of the game. So, I had a great time. I love the music. I love this game. People had a great time with it as well. Was it an overwhelming attendance stream? No. We had about 250 people, but the 250 people that were there were dedicated, they were paying attention, they were engaging, they supported the You mean they were paying? Stream and drove. It was basically everything you would want from a really meaningful stream. So I it was everything you want, AKA uh, tier three tip going beyond. I absolutely loved it, okay? <clears throat> then on the late stream, it was multiverses for the first time again this week. You know, every week I say, man, I really want to play more multiverses and then I only play it once a week. And again this week, it's happened again, all right? So tonight, Gizmo, the new character in Multiverses, the Mogwai from the movie Gremlins, uh, the cute little guy, you know, kind of, he was the biggest mascot of the 1980s, I would say, besides E.T. Um, <clears throat> he's pretty good. I unlocked him and played with him, and man, he's a hybrid character. So he's got range with some projectiles, but he's also got a cool car he drives around, and when he drives it, he significantly shrinks his hurt, or his uh, hurt box, but his hitboxes are, are pretty decent, so he can kind of drive under attacks and, and projectiles and nail people when it makes it a lot harder to hit. Um, I think he's got some good combos too, I would say. Check out my video on the gameplay. You're going to see that he is terrible with Gizmo. Apparently, he doesn't know how to uh, get his car back. Uh, whenever there's another Gizmo player on the opposite team, he kept stealing Phil's car and he kept raging over it. So, overall, a pretty decent character. Is he best? Yeah. I still think characters like Bugs and Velma are probably better, but he seems pretty darn good and I had a great time with him. In fact, tonight I think I maybe lost a, a very small handful of matches. I no, that is wrong. You actually won the first three matches. I'll give you that. You won the first three matches. And then there were eight straight matches, which I have captured on my gameplay, uh, where you lost. And then towards the end, you won one or two. Uh, you lost more than you won, Phil. I won most of the matches that I played with him, which is pretty crazy. No, you this didn't. The first time I ever even touched the character, okay? Phil forgets that he posts his videos and other detractors actually post videos as well. Apparently, he he, he neglects that or he thinks his den heads, well, his den heads probably believe whatever the hell he says, but 
Uh, the vast majority of people that have watched your playthrough see that you're terrible at this game. So it went really well. Support, meh, wasn't terrible, but certainly wasn't, you know, oh my god, blew you away. Um, actually, near the end of the stream, we almost had no tips, and all of a sudden we had a rallying of tips last minute, you know, to at least hit that first tier goal, which is great. Uh, you forgot to tell them why. You sent out a big tweet about every 15 minutes you kept harping on the fact that the tips weren't low or you didn't receive a tip within the last 25 minutes or whatever the case was. And you actually guilt trip your deadheads into getting you to the $50 tier tip goal, the $50 mark, because you kept complaining that your eyes were hurting and that you needed the gunner gap glasses to help alleviate the pain. So make sure you, 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 you tell everyone the full truth. One thing that I've noticed this week, Super Chats are way up, which helps this channel a lot. Really, like those Super Chats are going to help this channel significantly, especially because I lost so much income last month losing all those memberships. So thank you to anyone who's been coming and Super Chatting during these streams. It is helping a ton. I really appreciate that. So overall today, I had fun with Earthbound. I had fun with Multiverses. Support was good. Just another fun, really great day, okay? So tomorrow, Tuesday, is my final consecutive streaming day of the week, and I've decided it will be more Earthbound on the first stream. Why? Because I didn't get as much today as I wanted. Like, I was still in the, the intro town of Own It, or On It. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, I, I was enjoying myself so much, but I didn't even beat the main plot of that and, and leave and go to the next part of the game in three hours. So I'm like, man, I definitely want to make more progress before I take a break. Plus, people were having such a good chill vibe and having a great time. So I want to have that again tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow's mainstream, Earthbound. All he wants is another tier three tip goal day. That's what he wants. And I'm pretty sure he is going to do the extra begging today for tips because tomorrow is his day off. So count on it. So here are a lot of guys. Uh, tips are slow. I'm not going to lie. Tips are slow. Uh, I would appreciate more tip support. And I guarantee he's going to send out a big tweet tomorrow as well. Tomorrow night will be more Disney Dreamlight Valley. We played this a couple days ago. It was actually quite entertaining and fun and interesting. Intriguing with this plot. And I want to see where this plot goes. So more of that tomorrow night. That means that Wednesday will be my day off. And then Thursday, we'll do more Splatoon 3 multiplayer on the first stream. And we will do more multiverses multiplayer on the late stream. So all multiplayer all day long on Thursday. One other thing about tomorrow. <clears throat> Apologies to my stupid allergies. Um, there is not one, but two digital game presentations tomorrow. Out of nowhere, they hadn't been announced until today. The first is Nintendo Direct. That's going to be at 7 a.m. Pacific time. No, I am not covering that as a live react. That's insane. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. No, it's it's not insane. You're just lazy. Okay, and you, you're probably up to 3 o'clock in the morning on Twitter, drinking your gin, playing WWE Champions, and we know that, you know, you're, you're too exhausted to get up at 7 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to sleep, wake up, and read the news online like most normal people. I'm not going to get up early to watch the damn thing. Uh, and I'll talk about it on tomorrow's episode of the Level 1 Podcast, okay? Now, there's another digital event going on at 3 p.m. Pacific time, but it's literally only 20 minutes long. That's not even worth a react, in my opinion, but apparently it's going to cover, like, 20 games, just very quick updates on a bunch of games. So, when that happens, we'll talk about it together live on stream, likely, as I'm playing Earthbound, but I'm not super crazy about, you know, quitting my, my Earthbound stream early to react to this for 20 minutes. It's too short. What I'm guessing is there'll be a few quick minor update things, maybe a few release dates tossed out, and that's going to be about it, okay? So, I will talk about those things tomorrow, but it'll be during the course of my normal streams. I'm not going to do any reacts to that, okay? Guys, thank you. Four-day streaming week, down one day to go. I know it's a shorter week. I've had a great time this week. I hope you have, too. I'll see you all in the a.m. And by the way, one final thing. I did a short today. A YouTube short. Jasper Kitty jumped into the chair. Um, after I'd taken a brief break to use the restroom, and we wouldn't move. So I did a little YouTube short of it, and people liked it. You know, that's the kind of stuff I'm going to do with Jasper, little things here or there. If he's around the house doing something silly, or, you know, acting up in the office, I'll probably do a little YouTube short with him in it, and I think people will like that, so. Alright, folks. I'm calling it now. 40-year-old boomer DSP is going to kill shorts. People are going to see his shorts, and be like, oh my, it's, it's like with the boomers... And Facebook. Remember Facebook was hot. It was popping several years ago. It was the shit. Everybody was using it. 
and then the boomers decided to start using Facebook and it just declined, declined, declined. It just became, you know, everybody either moved to Instagram or they moved to Snapchat or something like that. Phil is going to do that for snort uh, for for YouTube shorts. So uh, I'm pretty sure his old boring self will kill YouTube shorts. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Peace out.